guys and welcome back to lesson 8 okay so we are now in differentiability and continuity what does uh, this imply and what do we mean by differentiability and continuity so in a, in the video I have posted last time and it's actually in the link below also if you want to watch differentiability simply means that the function okay has a derivative okay, it has a derivative we can get the derivative at that given point okay at the given point okay and of course we already know what is continuity and when we say continuity uh, the function does not have any gaps okay, or any jump at that given point okay so according to the video i have posted in the link below differentiability implies okay differentiability implies continuity okay so it means that if you can actually find the derivative of a function at that given point you can get the slope of the tangent line that given point hence that function is already continuous at that given point okay and we can also have the contrapositive of this uh, if it's not continuous so in logic we can actually do this if it's not continuous then it is not differentiable okay so we can actually use this guide here the second statement to know if a function is not differentiable again the only rule is if it's not continuous automatically it's not differentiable okay so uh, let's try to be careful also it does not imply that if it's continuous okay so there is also this idea okay it does not mean that if the function is continuous it is automatically differentiable it does not actually mean like that so it was explained also in that video that there are some functions okay which are not okay differentiable but it's continuous again this is not true so take note huh, that this is not true does not mean that the function is continuous it is automatically differentiable however if it's not continuous it's not differentiable so these two t statements here these are true okay so an example of a function which is a continuous but not differentiable does not have a derivative is actually the function okay uh, so f of x equals the absolute value of x okay so absolute value of x is a continuous function because we know that there's a graph where this uh, the graph looks like a v it's a continuous function because there are no gaps however we cannot actually determine the tangent line for this okay uh, because the left side limit and the right side limit let's say at x actually at x equals zero the left side limit of this and the right side limit of this are not equal okay because the left side limit of the absolute value of x is actually gearing towards negative while the right side gearing towards positive so uh, this is actually continuous however if you try to draw a tangent line there are actually infinitely many tangent line okay so one rule also in looking at the graphs of functions uh, you can actually know if it's differentiable if there is only one tangent line possible tangent line at that point however if there are infinitely many tangent lines or if you cannot actually find a tangent line at that point it is not differentiable okay so let's have the example so, we have example number three. So this actually 
example number two. So given f of x equals 4 all over x minus 1 at x equals 1, we need to find the following, the point, the derivative. So we also have the equation of the tangent line and the equation of the normal line. Okay, so for the point, uh, we simply substitute the value of x. So we have f of 1 equals 4 all over 1 minus 1, which is 4 all over 0. Uh, but take note, we cannot actually divide 4 by 0, and this is actually undefined for the value of the function. Okay, so this implies that the function is automatically essential discontinuous of x equals 1. So remember in the discussion of continuity, if it's undefined, the function is undefined in this kind of form. Okay, so it's a number divided by zero, aside from zero, okay. So it's automatically essential discontinuous. Okay, so note that if the function is discontinuous, then it is not differentiable. Okay, so this could be the end of the solution. You cannot actually find the other parts or there is no need to find the other the answer for the other questions because again this function is already not differentiable but what happens if we continue can we actually find the derivative can we find the equation of the tangent line can we find the equation of the normal line and what does happen if this continues okay so if we try to go on with the solution so let's proceed with the derivative of the function so we use the definition of the derivative and then we substitute the values of x plus h so of course we know f of x is 4 over x minus 1 is represented by the blue colored uh, items and then for x plus h so instead of x minus 1 we have x plus h minus 1 okay then again, it's fraction, so we find the LCD. So in this scenario, the LCD is x plus h minus 1 and x minus 1. So we multiply each term, the lacking denominator or the lacking values or factors rather. So we have now 4 times x minus 1 all over x plus h minus 1 quantity okay, times the quantity of x minus 1 minus we have 4 times x plus h minus 1 quantity, then we have x minus 1 quantity, and we have x plus h minus 1 quantity here. Then we simplify, we, compa we combine the denominators because they have similar denominators, and then h here uh, goes up, okay, so we have h here, okay, and then we simplify further and we have negative 4h and we substitute 0 to h and this will give us negative 4 all over x minus 1 quantity squared so okay so we can actually get the form okay or we can say the formula for the derivative of the function uh, because this is already generalized uh, it's not actually yet the derivative at a point it's just the derivative of the function okay now if we apply this one in the slope of the tangent line note that the slope of the tangent line at x equals 1 is also undefined so why take note at x equals 1 our x is actually 1 a number in the given so if we substitute 1 so we'll have 1 minus 1 quantity squared and this will give us negative 4 over 0 okay so this is still undefined that's why it's stated here that uh, the slope of the tangent line at x equals 1 is undefined okay uh, here's the solution hence we cannot determine the equation of the tangent line as well as the equation of the normal line uh, the reason behind this is because we are not actually sure if the slope of the tangent line, oh, not really sure, but rather we are not actually sure uh, 
how the slope of the tangent line behaves because again it's undefined so of course the normal line is affected by the tangent line because the normal line depends on the tangent line okay so here is the graph of the function and the reason why there is no tangent line okay so as you can see at x equals 1 there is no value of uh, y there is no output because as a matter of fact at x equals 1 x equals 1 is actually the vertical asymptote of the function okay and take note the function is discontinuous at this point and hence we cannot find the tangent line and the normal line also so again if we try to summarize uh, for the value or rather for the point rather uh, we cannot find the point because again at this value of x the function is undefined and it's the vertical asymptote next for b yes we can solve for the derivative but again not really the derivative at the point but rather it's the general uh, derivative of this function okay so because in reality if we change the value of x let's say x equals 2 okay for, for, so if it's x equals 2 so we'll have 4 okay why is 4 so basically it's somewhere here okay it's somewhere here so there is actually a tangent line here so we can actually solve for the derivative at a point so we can use the formula the derivative okay this formula here so same formula to solve for the slope of the tangent line and also because uh, also the slope of the normal line and proceeding to the equations of the tangent and normal line okay so that's the end of the lesson i hope that you learned something in this series of videos so in the next uh, part okay so we'll have lesson the second part of lesson eight will have the basic differentiation rules so these are shortcuts okay for solving the derivative of the function see you in the next series of videos bye bye